thank you, Jesus, for the ever-loving kindness you've shown us. You've made a covenant with us, Lord, a covenant, your everlasting covenant that you love us. You said your everlasting love that you've shown toward us, you'll never take it away from us. We worship you because of the love you've shown to us. We honor you, Lord Jesus, in this place. We honor you. Hallelujah. Praise you. Praise you. Glorify your name. We honor you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Another great day to come into the house of the Lord and worship him. Psalm 23, 6 says that goodness and mercy follows us all the days of our life. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What an amazing promise to know that God's goodness and his mercy is going to follow us. When God gives us promises, he gives us promises that are for everlasting, for eternity. And every day of our life, we can expect to believe God to show us good things, and to show us how much he loves us. Hallelujah. So praise God. We're going to sing from that verse. And all of you joining us online, we believe today that we're going to speak this promise and declare that goodness and mercy follows us. And you can speak it over your life and believe for God to do great and mighty things. You know, in the book of James 1.17, God says, Every good and perfect gift comes from above, comes from the Father of lights who never changes. We serve a good and a faithful God. We believe you'll be encouraged and strengthened today. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's worship him and give him our highest praise. Goodness and mercy follows us. Shall we say that together? Let's say, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord for, your goodness for your goodness and your mercy, and your mercy that follows me, follows me all, the days of my life. all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's sing his promise. Goodness and mercy follows us. Goodness and mercy keep on following me. Following me. Following me. Hey. Goodness and mercy keep on following me. All the days. All the days of my life.
goodness, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. The greater ones in me, the greater ones in me, the mighty Holy Spirit is the
world. They're more than conquerors through you, Lord Jesus. You know, it's so important, the things that we say over ourselves. This song says, I will not be afraid of the evil enemy's threats. He can threaten you by saying you've got sickness in your body. You're going to die early. You're never going to make it. You can never be as good as others. Those are threats that the enemy puts in our mind. Especially he'll try to bring threats to make you compare your life with somebody else. But that's the time you have to take these promises and sing these promises out of your mouth. And say in the name of Jesus, the greater one lives in me than he that is in the world. I'm more than a conqueror through Jesus. And start encouraging yourself. Because you see the enemy, he's really nothing. He's just a piece of worm that we have authority to trample on. Jesus said in Luke 10, 19, I have given you authority. So when you get threatening thoughts in your mind, you start bringing out these promises. See, your tongue is like a two-edged sword. When you speak the word, the word of God is like a sword. It can cut through any of those negative thoughts that are in your mind. And you can pull down those strongholds by the word of God. Thank you, Father. We praise you for your word. And Father, we come against every threatening thought, whatever might be attacking, Lord, our dearly beloved ones here, and also those who are watching, the threats that they might be facing, thoughts, we pull it down in Jesus' name. Every stronghold, and we speak peace into the minds of the people. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Let's continue to sing about his word. God has given us an amazing promise. Isaiah 26, 3 says, When you keep your mind stayed on him, he keeps you in perfect peace. How many of you love to be in peace all the days of your life? Hallelujah, I sure do. And that comes as we keep our mind stayed on him. Because in the world, you'll have tribulation. But that's the time we have to use our self-control and say, I'm going to keep my mind stayed on the Lord. And you're going to see how much of peace he'll give into your mind. Let's sing about it.
Father, we meditate on your words. Your word is life to those who find it and health to all our flesh. Father, we choose to think upon what we are meditating on. Because you said, Lord, out of the abundance of our heart is what our mouth will speak. So, Lord, we choose to guard our minds, choose to guard our hearts from thoughts that try to arise and try to steal our joy. We will not let our thoughts meditate upon things that will steal our joy. But, Father, we choose to meditate on you, Lord. Jesus, you are our life. Oh, they are life, his word, your word.
worship the Lord and thank Him for His Word. Oh, we honor Your Word in this place, Father. Your Word is what we choose to seek after, Father. We seek Your Word, Lord, that is life. Your Word is held to all of this flesh. We live in this mortal body and know that Your Spirit gives us life in everything that we do, Father, in every word that we say. We choose to meditate on You, Father. Hallelujah. It's so important that we make confessing the word a lifestyle. What we say, Galatians talks about how what we sow, we reap. Words are also seeds that we sow. So when we are sowing the word, the seed that we are sowing is we are sowing the seed of life. And every seed has to produce after its own kind. So when you are sowing the word of God, you expect to see that life the results you will see is life. When you're sowing words of healing, you're taking scriptures from the word and that's something we can make it as a habit to find scriptures from the word. If it's on healing, find scriptures on healing and begin to confess it out of your mouth because you're sowing the seed of life into your physical body. And if you're sowing seeds about finances or prosperity, you can take Scriptures where God talks about the blessing of the Lord. Scriptures where God says He will prosper you. Those are words that seeds you're sowing into your life. You should never take for granted the word of God. When we confess the word, God says that His word will never return void. So the, when you sow life, you're going to see life. Results that you're going to see. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word this day. We praise you, Lord. Father, we thank you that your word never returns void to us. When we sing your word and we confess your word, we know that you back up your word. And we pray today, Father, the word that is sown into our hearts, let it bring forth 30, 60, and 100 fold return results in our life. We praise you, Father. We worship you. We honor you in this place. Be healed in your body right now. The Spirit of the Lord is healing you. Every ache, every pain, every threat. The enemy might try to tell you, you might get this sickness at a certain age. That's what usually happens to people. You need to cast that thought down in Jesus' name and say, no, I refuse that. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sickness has no right to dominate me. Refuse to believe the lies of the enemy. You don't have to go to the grave early. God's word says that he satisfies us with long life. Every threat of the enemy, just because it happened to somebody else, you don't have to take that as a thought that it'll happen to you. When you sow the word of God, life, expect to see life in your body. He will renew your strength like the eagles. Hallelujah, we praise you. Let's make some declarations before we listen to the word. Let's say, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Your, word is life Your word is life and health, and health to, all my flesh. to all my flesh. Your word, Your word produces, produces a harvest in my life. In my life. I, choose to speak Your word. I choose to speak Your word. I choose to meditate on Your word. To on Your As, word. I As I do, I believe I, believe. I, will, prosper I will prosper and have good success, and have good success in my life. In my life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Your word never returns, word never returns. Empty, empty, but it always produces. It always produces. I, speak I speak it over my life. I speak life to my physical body. I speak, life to my physical body. I speak strength to my body. To my body. I, speak peace to my mind. I speak peace to my mind. I speak peace to my meditation. I speak peace to my meditation. Let my words, Let my words. the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in your sight. Be acceptable in, your sight. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at somebody and say, God's word is life and health. God's word is life, God's word is life and health.